magical wizard? Your hubris has failed you, witch apprentice. <laughs> oh my god. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another Owl House episode. We're on episode two. Luz just got introduced into like the whole new, you know, magical fantasy world and decided to stay. So I assume we're just going to be on many adventures with Luz, the witch, and the little cat dragon king but i'm liking it so far it's pretty entertaining i like my like i said previously my favorite thing so far is just the world design and like world building concept the visuals and the creativity of it it's very cool i like it a lot so we're just going to continue watching so appreciate you guys tuning in and watching with me hope you guys are having a good day and just enjoying the videos so let's let's get started How is she going to charge her phone, by the way? Last episode, she had Signal, which is interesting. And But my question is, how is she going to be able to charge her phone to keep having Signal? I like she's dreaming of the flashback. It wasn't a dream! <laughs> Good morning, terrifying fantasy world! Terrifying Good fantasy morning. world. Oh my god. I want to go home. I want to go home. Good morning, you little cutie pie. I am not your cutie pie. Yes, you are. <laughs> that is also my cutie pie. He also hates being a cutie pie. Look, they look practically the same. They're the same. Same, same being, everything. I'll have to get him a little skull mask. He was sleeping. I just ruined his sleep. Look at him. He is over it. Sorry, buddy. Cat hair, man, especially just cats in general. But, ah, uh. <laughs> get be gone for ah, uh. it's all over me, it's inside me. Gross. Let's continue. Uh, I know, ladies and king. <laughs> so, I guess it's the owl house because the house is literally an owl. It seems like this, this owl is the house. And he could just come into any room and shit. A little creepy, but I, I get the concept. I'm just wishing you a good morning. <laughs> Jeez. Wow. Sorry, Hootie. Hootie. Have witchy clothes. Please have witchy clothes. A hood. Oh, wow. Yes, 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 yes. It's a shitload of witchy clothes. Loose. Witch apprentice. She just got done dumping. I am ready for my first day of witch apprenticeship. Ugh. Who are you again? <laughs> Ugh. Huh? What? How'd she forget her? Remember Witches me? before wizards. <laughs> I love it because it's like bros before. Uh, that's so funny. Which I assume, based off of that, which is before wizards. There's probably going to be some wizard bros or something introduced in this. And... There's gonna be a little tension, and she's like, "No, I'm not gonna leave you guys for my, for my witch." Or yeah, yeah, I want to stick with my witch. Witches before wizards. Kid, lay off the details. Details. You mean apple juice? No. <laughs> my vodka. So you're wrapped in a bathrobe and wearing the dirtiest traffic cone I've ever seen. <laughs> oh my god, I love that. Magic staff, huh? Magic staff. Come to me. It's like Thor's hammer. Just like it. Oh my god. <laughs> it, it's the same scene from uh, Thor Ragnarok when he was in Supreme Strange's building and he's calling his umbrella hammer and it's just destroying everything. And he's like, sorry. Sorry about that. It's early. On weekends, I offer rare human treasures that Albert drags over from. It's a nice sword in the, in the background. Oh! I shall smite my enemies. That's like the He-Man sword. I'm pretty sure it is just like a, a non-branded version for trademark. Ages six to eleven. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ages six to eleven. Snake oil. No one wants an unoiled snake. Now follow me. What does that mean? Today you'll deliver packages. What does that mean? Oceans to the Bonesboro. The towns look so cool. I have to be careful. I have rivals everywhere. I won't let you down, Nisida. 
I knew it. Literally let I'm the sure. bag down. Uh, good luck. I hate to interrupt your power nap, but you have to go with her. What? But I just found the perfect <laughs> spot. Why do I have to go? The sunlight, you everything. You know she's either going to get lost or eaten. Probably both. It's a nice both. warm spot. No, I won't. <laughs> and because you work for me, too. Unless you want to start paying rent. <laughs> <laughs> I love him the most so far. I love it. Like, look at his stance, bro. He's just so over it. Like, you woke me up from my nap. I was sleeping perfectly in my hot spot. You're just ruining my day. And now you're making me go out and work. I hate it. <laughs> like, <laughs> he looks so funny. Have a nice trip! <laughs> uh, let's get this over with. King is truly a king. Today I'm delivering packages, but tomorrow I'll be giving the respect of everyone on the Boiling Isles with my magical prowess. Boiling Isles is nothing but a cesspool of despair. I wonder. I'm try I'm already getting into crazy theories. Because I like that. I like randomly guessing at shit. So she has the book that she referenced in episode one where she held it up to the mirror and like, oh... We're just like them. I wonder if there's something that might deal with time travel or all like different other extra dimensions or something where eventually over time that book is actually based off of them. Like like the book was written about her. Maybe by herself or someone else wrote a book about her and all that. They just gave them different names. And then somehow that book ended up back to her like in previous time when she was young to inspire her to go down that route or something for adventure and all that. I don't know. That would just be, it, it's a random guess theory, but that'd be so cool if it was something like that. Do not confirm or deny that. Don't tell me any spoilers since I'm just on season one and everyone else is most likely on the most current episode of season three so far more like a cesspool of delight haha -ha. <laughs> ha -ha, a centaur what has four hooves and wants to buy a potion this guy, <laughs> this guy. my eyes are down he <laughs> here <laughs> i love that dude they're just taking advantage of like people's general line like my eyes are up here perv like they literally put his eyes down there that's so funny, which makes me wonder, what's up there? What's at the top now? Yeah. They didn't show it. Yeah. Definitely had nipples on top. <laughs> you know, I've had enough delight for one day. <laughs> I thought being the only human in a magical world would make me special. Maybe this world isn't what I thought it was. <gasps> Until now. Pretty. And this is where she's gonna come across the wizards. I bet you they're going to be like fancy rich wizards. And they're like, hey, why are you working for that like slumsy witch? Just work with us. Work with us. You'll get all this cool fancy stuff. You'll you'll get it made. You'll have everything you want. And then that's where it's going to come across the concept of where she's like, no, I choose to be with the witch and not you bozos. Big houses always belong to big whack jobs. Let's kick the package inside and get out of here. He's right. King's Hello? right. Wait. <laughs> And they're trapped. <laughs> I'm delivering <laughs> a package. With the same Oh my god. <laughs> Today just got good. This guy's probably a turd. A weird old man in Jim Jams. Jim Jams. Reading the stars. Reading the stars. Uh, did it I say I sent something? Did it I say? You. Won't you join me for tea? Damn. I don't know. I'd, I'd kind of be sold. I've got to be sold. Wizards are just old people with glitter in their pockets. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Plus, I see scones on the table. Where? I do like scones. <laughs> if I saw that much food and everything, I would probably be sold. Like, my currency is food. So if you have a lot of it and the good stuff, it's hard to say no. It's hard to say no. We'd love to join you for tea. Please call me Adagast. Adagast. You should run a small business of more scones into my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm surprised to see. He's you like, here. got him. It was my understanding that Ida delivered the packages herself. I decided to stay in this magical world. I thought I was meant for something special. I love but King. But Ida thinks I'm meant for chores. Hmm. I have a quest. <laughs> a quest? 
Oh. <laughs> you didn't let me finish. I have a question. Oh. Would you like to go on a quest? Yes. <laughs> oh my god, dude. And free this world from an ancient evil. I wonder if it's like gonna ever come to like the concept or plot of like they're all just gonna try and use her because she's a human, which most gates or barriers are blocked off by anyone in their world unless they're from outside of the world, aka a human. So I just wonder if like there's ever gonna be that tension between Luce and Edith where like Luce is like, you never really wanted to train me. It's just to train me. You wanted to get me up to this level so you could use me to get access to this stuff. And then, which could be partially true, but eventually it's like that things were like, they actually build, you know, a bond, friendship, relationship, and all that to where they mean a good matter to each other. So I feel it's going to be something along those lines. Perhaps thou hast come here for a reason. Perhaps I hath. You believe yourself <laughs> to attend this quest. I love so she's I changing like her terminology already. Dark and perilous can pull the star from its post. Like chosen Excalibur. One. Neat story, awesome. Anyway, king. What kind of chosen one should I get? <laughs> huh? What? He's making should biscuits. I be full of optimism and goodness. I act like I don't care, but I secretly do. <laughs> oh, you guys talking about bad girls? Ugh, wizards are the worst. Never trust a man in casual drapery. <laughs> she was a... <laughs> was a chosen one! <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Wait, <laughs> Laughing in her face. <laughs> he even gave her a map! <laughs> Damn, dude. This map's phony. You didn't think this was real, did you? Oh, shit. What? I was, this I was joking. map is bunk. There's no lake with a celestial staff on the boiling bunk. aisles. Bunk. <laughs> One. Oh. But am I really worthy? Edo or Edith? You're the chosen one. I'll never know unless I try. Facts. Finally, Wizard was one of my clients. Yes. Now go away. <laughs> yes. I don't know him that well, and I don't trust this itchy <laughs> scratching in the human. Less talky, more nappy. <laughs> I love him. Hey, Luz? She's gone, dude. Oh, nuts. Where'd she go? Hoot, hoot! If you want the answer that <laughs> hoot, you seek, hoot. solve my riddle within a week! Oh! Okay, okay! <laughs> she went to the forest towards Bonesboro! Sheesh! <laughs> Sheesh! Leaving Bonesboro city limits. My first mythical quest. Ha! <laughs> ha! Okay. Got my scroll, got my youthful optimism. My youthful got my optimism. Weapon. By the power of Skullgar, I am out of burglary. <laughs> out of burglary. I'm sure that sword's you know, gonna break. I want the right choice by coming here. Well, it's working. <sighs> we have a cat village. We have a cat village. Look, Cal. We have a cat village. Look at all the kitties. He is so tired. Look at him. Oh, he hates me. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. You're so sweepy, huh? Mm. He is so tired. You're like, look at, look at him. He's just slumped in my hands. Sorry, buddy. Here you go. I was just trying to get him excited for a cat village. But pff, he hates me. I need to quit doing this. I just constantly keep getting cat hair all over me. <sighs> And it like sticks to your face, and then you just do this the whole time. <laughs> I see. Why was he in the water fountain? Is that where he bathed? So you're the chosen one, Teen Prince of Angstmore. Prince yes. of Angstmore. Yes, I did make the right choice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. This is where we met the scones. I mean, the wizard. It wasn't like this before. Oh, something's up. Something's afoot. I don't like this. An evil wizard? The chosen one. The chosen one. I really don't like this. My heart has known nothing but vengeance. I wonder if this and the wizard dude are the same characters. Like uh like someone who can morph into many different beings. Like transform and stuff, and they're just playing different roles to maybe try and get her somewhere to sacrifice her or eat her. I don't know, since she's a human. There might be something to deal with human blood that could help enhance their abilities or something. Nevereth. 
Lady Lucas. <laughs> Never do you think love can bloom on the battlefield. <laughs> yes, if this quest is questing in. I half do believe it that if. <laughs> Ew. Come <laughs> de diddle to pass the bridge, you must first solve my riddle. Hit me, little furry man. <laughs> your quest shall stop. If you fail this chosen one, it shall help you on your journey. Wow. Mm. This is amazing. Thank you. Do you need a cape? Not uh, good. You can good. use my shirt. <laughs> 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 yes, I need a cape. <laughs> I need a cape. Yes, yes, yes. Hooray! Hip, hip. Oh, no. Yep. That's what I was thinking. Everywhere they go, like to her and them, it looks very lively. But in reality, it's like all death and like ridden of life, basically. <laughs> basically, <laughs> the the Hoths, like talking medieval's got my, all my words with ths in it now. Basically, <laughs> oh, it's funny. Uh, so yeah, this person's definitely a baddie. Are you sure she came here? Which I don't know. Like, do, like I feel like they're setting her up for something because they're putting the ring on her hand. I don't know what the cape's gonna do, but maybe it needs like a combination of stuff for her. I can't mistake her smell. Whoa. Hey, wake up, you! Oh my what God! Are you done with Luce? To Is find your fake? pupil and still your wrath. Look ahead and follow the path. <laughs> oh my God! <gasps> the cat man melted. <laughs> it's a trap. For you, chosen one. See? Thank it's like you. wearing stuff. You've all been so kind and thoughtful. Interesting. Thanks for ruining the mood, Chris. Go on, chosen one. Freaking Chris. The celestial staff is yours. You've earned it. It's a trap. I knew this world wasn't all gloom and doom like Ida and King said. There You'd be surprised. So, Ida. I, I called her Edith. So her name's Ida. Okay. And I, I think I came here for a reason. To die. Until Ida okay. saves you. This is it. Yes! I am Looks the chosen cool. one. No! Yep. What? No bueno. He's no wizard. He's what you call a puppeteer. A is it gonna be another an ex of Ida's? Demon who specializes in scamming and manipulating people. Oh, hubris has failed you, witch apprentice. <laughs> oh my god. Oh shit. Okay, Luce. Don't panic. You have to rescue everybody and defeat the final boss. Probably not an ex-boyfriend of Ida's. I wouldn't say she has that low of standards. And you're no chosen one. I've tricked you. <laughs> what? <laughs> Gross. Oh, wow. I was right. I knew all of those items would do something. I called it. No! Betrayed by my own cool accessories. Why are you doing this? Does everybody have a beef with Ida here? Well, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Duh. And you lured her right into my trap. Because Ida isn't stupid enough to fall for your trap. At a guest. Oh, heck. And she did. That's right. You have me. Now release loose. I didn't wow. have to be a part of this. I like it though, because like, Ida's pretty selfless already. Like barely knowing loose and everything. Like she's still pretty selfless than what I would expect. So my theories are probably off already. Oh, she can leave if she wants to. What? Stay with us, Luce. Oh. Stay with Adagast. Yeah, yes. You can eat our tiny foods forever. I don't Lewis, want tiny food. Why would you want to live in a world I want where real food. Laugh at you? No! Damn. She's choosing oh, witches no, over wizards. Real. Cut them up. I am a witch's apprentice. Now feel my wrath. Break. Yeah. Or not. Uh. Damn. Uh. <laughs> ah, my flawless pecs! My flawless pecs! Oh, the dog gets it! I am not a. <laughs> King, I'm sorry. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's gotta kill him. Whoa, that's cute. Well, pretty adorable. This is the last time I take an outside referral. Look at that. Oh my god, she ate oh, it. Did you want some of that? No. Gross. I'm just confused. This place is nothing like I imagined. Hmm. That's how Maybe it be. Not here. 
Oh, wow. Okay, you can look. A nice scenery. Wow. The bones of the Isles. Up close. I was expecting a nicer scenery, but we just got a giant corpse. <laughs> the Isles can be slimy. And very stinky. But if you look at it from a different perspective... Yeah, that's nice. It's beautiful. Does that mean you'll give me a magic staff of my own? Not yet, but someday. Wow. I feel like this episode went by pretty quick, which is good because I feel like in general, when you're like really involved in something, like consumed in it by like the story and all that, like, oh shit, like what's going on? Like it just really goes by quick. Like time flies when you're having a good time. So that's a good sign. You know, it's a good sign that like it flew by quick because you're like, wow, this is really good. Um, I like seeing that like the relationship, you know, is being built upon. They're, they're getting trust between each other and everything. And she's actually getting more firsthand loose, is getting more firsthand experience of the world, how it works and the reality of it. It's not as like happy and hopeful as her book illustrates it to be. Which, I don't know, my theory about her and the book and all that type of stuff from episode one might be totally off. Which, I'm okay with that. It was just a random a random guess anyways. But, I'm curious to see what kind of plot pans out on this. Because there's, there's obviously going to be some type of long-term plot. Some big moment that builds up. So, I'm curious about that. Mm, I did like this one. I did like this one a lot. It was good. So I, I just feel each episode is just going to get better and better and more built on upon. I'm trying to think of, I don't really have any theories because I feel like each episode is going to be like its own um, like side quest that expands onto the full long term plot. But at the moment, I don't, I just don't have a lot of information at the moment to really expand off of any future plot ideas besides of what I already talked about that Ida could potentially, you know, try to capitalize off of using Luce for some long-term plan. But then when it gets to that, and like the tension builds up, the climax and everything, she decides not to go forward with it because they, they actually have a great relationship with each other and she doesn't want to use her for some powerful gain or something. I don't know, but I feel long-term she's going to become her own witch and everything but I, I another thing I think about too is like I wonder how it's gonna come to be by the end of it or whatever because like she's gonna have to go to the real world sometime you know she has her mom there like her family and stuff uh, so like I'm curious of how the dynamics of that is going to conflict with the story as well um, if it's gonna just be like one of those series where like they go back and forth from worlds just throughout time for the rest of their life and stuff. Uh, or if she's just going to leave that world, maybe bring her mom into this world. I don't know. Uh, they could go about it so many ways. So I am curious about the concept of how she's going to deal with like the balance of the different worlds too. But that's all I have right now. So uh, going to continue watching it over time. So I appreciate you guys watching with me. Feel free to comment anything. Educate me off educate me on if there's anything I missed throughout the previous episodes one and two so far but that's about it and yeah so I hope you guys are doing well I always appreciate you watching hope you guys are having a good day I'm just having a good time on your side so I will see you guys in the next episode bye